Well, let's look at the matchup between the Pats and the Dolphins. First of all, the Patriots have won their 14th road victory dating back to last season, second longest road win streak in NFL history. Um, so the fact that they're going to Miami is a good thing for them. Mm -hmm. So it seems, um, I mean, they play well anywhere. But well, One thing that I thought was kind of funny this week is that the Patriots practiced in the bubble. And they were saying, oh, you know, it's because it's so warm in Miami. On Monday, the high is 71 and the low is 57, and it's a night game. So it's probably not going to feel too much different in Miami on Monday night than it does out here right now. It's, what, like 50 degrees outside right now? It's probably no, a little it's like it's a little below that right, right now. now. Well, but it was 50 today. when they were practicing. Earlier today. Yeah. Hmm. yeah. 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 I mean, Miami is has in the past given given um, the Patriots problems playing down there. I mean, they lost down there two years ago in that – that Steven Jackson crap bag. Yeah. And then they did lose the, the, the previous season Super Bowl. Mm -hmm. Last year they didn't have much problems down there. Yeah. But it's really weird the way that they're doing the schedule. The way that sure. because we just saw the, the Dolphins here last week and really not a lot can that change. Really, yeah. I mean they'll have Jay Cutler rather than Matt Moore in this mm -hmm. game. Uh, they won't have well, Damian. That. <laughs> no, I mean, I, mean I, I know I was saying Ooh. before that game that Matt Moore wasn't really any sort of drop off from Jay Cutler, but he did not play particularly well no. here. I think he threw what two interceptions, got sacked seven times, so it's got to be at least a little bit of a step up. And and I don't know, the Patriots are going to be a little shorthanded this time with with no Rob Gronkowski. But I I love the thing the is though too just to uh, sorry to cut you off, but just to add something real quick that. Odds makers are guys at Odd Shark. We talked to them on Monday, and before we even knew whether or not Gronk would be suspended for sure, um, John Campbell, who we work with, said that the odds makers had made the line, and it was still a double digit line, and they had yeah, made it, it like under the assumption yeah. that Gronk would not be it's there. So it's like, imagine if he was. Yeah in that yeah. game that would definitely yeah. that seems high. make I mean, a difference the Dolphins yeah. did uh, they are coming off their best game of the season they beat the hell Destroyed out of the Broncos, the Broncos. on uh, yeah. on Sunday Broncos are terrible they've lost yeah. what like eight in a row now yeah. uh, no Rob Gronkowski Jay Cutler back in I mean maybe it'll be I'm expecting a closer game than, than we saw um, here in yeah. Foxborough last week but I still don't think I don't think the Patriots will have too big of an issue beating the, uh, the Dolphins yeah. here but it is I mean it's a traditional it's a Stereotypical. I don't even know what the word is. It's a trap game here right. because, because they are playing the they're, they're playing the Steelers next week for basically what seems to be kind of a play-in game for the number one seed. It seems right. like the whatever team wins that game will end up going on to uh, to get home field advantage in the playoffs. So that's going to be the biggest game on their schedule of the entire season. If they're looking past this game, it could leave. Uh, could lead to a little a little rustiness, a little shakiness, but I don't think Bill Belichick, Tom Brady are gonna are gonna let this team do that. So no. I'm not all that worried. I mean, what, what's your what do you think of this game? I'm not too worried either, just because I think the Dolphins are kind of trash. I mean, the, the Broncos are so bad this I'm, year. I'm bored that... of this week already. I mean, I, 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 I I've exhausted yeah. my Dolphin story it's a trap in about for me. six hours. Yeah. I'm already looking forward to this to the Steelers game. I, I'm, I'm past this week, and we've got the extra day of coverage on this week too, yep. because it's the Monday game. Yeah, Brady's we're gonna be down here on Saturday, today, Wednesday, Brady speaking yeah. Saturday. Saturday. So this is kind conference. of a, I mean, no one's going to cry for us, but this is kind of a long <laughs> week for us. And then we've got the short week coming up with the Steelers, so. It's yeah. hard yeah. on the media. Thoughts, thoughts and prayers to us. Yeah. Real tough. yeah, i got to fly down to Miami this weekend. It's going to be really <laughs> tough. <laughs> um, but Brady did four, four, four throw, throw four, four, four throw. touchdowns. <laughs> Uh, the last time they saw the Dolphins, which, like you said, it's yeah. just... He didn't even play all that well in that game either. Yeah. yeah. Do you yeah. think that um, Dolphins' defense, I know we've already covered the fact that Cutler's going to be in there, mm. could be a completely different situation. Um, but as far as the defense, do you expect anything different to come from Miami defensive mm. front? No, not, not completely. I, 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 was, uh, I was on the Adam Jones show on Sports Hub last night, and he actually brought up a good point that... The Patriots are playing a team against the Dolphins this week that Tom Brady himself described as a team that plays until the end of the whistle, which means that they have some late hits. So I think that's something to, to kind of think about in this game. Then they're playing the Steelers, who are a team who just had an extremely violent game against the Bengals. Yeah. When and those then, two teams play, it's unbelievable. And then they're playing the Bills, who are probably going to have something out for the Patriots, and especially Rob Gronkowski in that game. So it's kind of scary to think of these next three opponents for the Patriots. They're already pretty banged up injury-wise. I think they're going to have to do a really good job of protecting Tom Brady because 
if those Dolphins defenders are anywhere near Brady as he's getting rid of the ball, they're probably going to hit him. They're probably going to try to hit him pretty hard. And that not only goes for this week, but the next two weeks as well. Yeah, that was the case last time these teams played here a couple weeks ago, too. That was the most Brady had gotten hit since, I believe, week five mm-hmm. when uh, when the, the Buccaneers really did a number on him. So, yeah, they're going to have to keep him mm-hmm. they're gonna have to keep him upright. Who knows if they'll have their, their full starting offensive line back. It doesn't look like it. Mar- Marcus Cannon still isn't practicing. Yeah. Uh, Ladrian Waddle was out there today. Um, so maybe he will be back in. But, I mean, even Cameron Fleming p- played pretty well. They haven't really had a problem with kind of slotting in ex- uh, new pieces on this offensive yeah. line. But, yeah, you're, you're going to have to protect Tom Brady. And Dominican Sue is still one of the uh, the better interior uh, defensive players in the NFL. Yeah. And he's, scary, he's, dude. he's a guy that you can always kind of count on to, to throw a little extra jab after the whistle. So yeah. not a guy that you want around Tom Brady's ankles at the, uh, at the end of no. a play. Definitely not.